Hey guys, today I will be showing you how you can add blur animation on text and it's going to look something like this. We're going to be able to adjust this as much as we want and it's going to be pretty simple. The, we're only going to be using a bit of CSS here and inside the HTML we're going to have a single H1 and here we're just going to write blurry and then also I'll make my CSS here, so style.css and we need to link that. So inside our CSS, there are a few things we need to do. We want to target a start to remove the basic styles. We're going to add box sizing of border box and remove the margin from all the elements, so margin zero. And we're also going to add font family of sans serif. Then under that, we can target our body. We're going to make it full height, so min height, 100bh. Then under that, we're going to add a, a black background, so we're going to do 000 and white color for the text, so FFF. And we're also going to make a display flex, just so we can center the text on the screen. Then we have an H1 here, which is going to have margin auto to center it. We're going to add font size of 160 pixels. We have font weight of bold. And we can also to uppercase for text transform, we can do uppercase if you guys prefer that, or we can leave it as it was. This might look even better. Then we're gonna add animation here. We can call it blur. Four seconds. It's gonna have ease in out, and then infinite at the end, so it's always gonna run. Then we need to create that animation using keyframes. So here we're gonna do add keyframes and the name. So we call it blur. And we're only going to have 50% here. And on 50%, we're going to add a filter, blur. And here we can mess with the value. So let's try 20 pixels here. This is how it looks like on 20 pixels. If you reduce this to like 5, it's barely going to have any blur. So this might be much better, depending on what you plan on using it for. 50 pixels is going to be way too much, as you can see here, it looks really weird, so I suggest like 20 pixels max. You guys prefer that, but I think 5 or 6 pixels would probably work the best for this type of scenario. And also we can change this, so let's say we put this at 1 second, that's going to be pretty fast. Then again, 10 seconds is going to be pretty slow, but maybe around 4 or 5 seconds would be the best here. Let's try maybe 6. And this is how easy you can add a blur effect on, you, on your text. You can do that without animation as well, but I think this is much cleaner. But if we comment this out and just add our blur here, we're going to get blurry text, so we don't need to add it as animation in keyframes. This doesn't do anything right now. We can comment it out as well. And you can ask with the values here first to, to figure out what works best for you. And then once you're done, you just add keyframes and you add this back. So that would be it for this short tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.